Hello everyone and welcome to our today's video. Um, as I promised last time that we are going to look at optimality testing using the stepping stone method and uh, uh, from our previous video that we, we did uh, we arrived at the least cost. Now I'd like us to proceed with optimality testing using the stepping stone method. Uh, if you haven't checked out the video, the link is in the description. Kindly check it out so that we can be at the same page. Now, uh, these were allocation, our allocations for for supply and, 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 and demand for various locations from different sources and uh, to proceed with the stepping stone method uh, the first step is that uh, we proceed row by row and select a water square to evaluate a water square means that it's a square that has not been used for example s1 d1 is a water square but uh, S1, D2 is not a water square. So the next, the second step is beginning from this square, trace forming a closed loop path back to the original square via the squares that are currently being used. So to form the loop is that we are going to form a path from the water square, the first water square, back to the, the, the same water square uh, through the squares that are being used. Uh, we can't uh, step on a water square. The, the squares that are being used are our stepping stones. So we proceed from S1, D1 to S1, D2. Uh, this can be a point, a turning point because this square is being used. So we can go down to S3, D2, which is uh, also used. So we can't use S2, D2 because it's a water square. So, so we, we skip it to, so that we can step on a square that has been used. Then turn back to uh, S3, D1. Then back to S, S1, D1. Uh, and this is how the path will look like. Now, this is our path back to uh, S, S1, D1. Now, uh, our third step is beginning with a plus sign at the unused corner. Place an alternative minus and plus signs at the corner of each part. And this is how it is going to be. Uh, we have to start with an alternate a plus sign then placing a minus sign at the alternative end so this is going to be a plus a minus a plus and a minus uh, the fourth step is calculate the improvement index and to calculate the the improvement index we are going to sum these costs So this is how we calculate the improvement in the index. So we 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 get the sum of the costs of transporting pro in our closed loop, and this is uh, the part the, the the first part that we have, and it's from S one D one, S one D D two, S S three D D2 and S3, D1. It's a plus 6, minus 8, plus 5, minus 4. And we'll, we'll get a, a negative 1. Uh, getting a negative uh, means that we can make a change and get a cost reduction. So, but we also proceed to, make, to, to check other closed paths so that uh, we can make a, a decision on how we are going to proceed. 
So this is how our, our second path will be. So our path will be from S2, D2, D1 to S2, D3. Then we'll go to S1, D3 to S1, D2, then down to S3, D2 to S3, D1 back to our to our original water square. So the reason we have had a path like that is because we can't step we can't use a, a water square as a stepping stone. We only have to go through the squares that have been used. Yeah, so so our improvement index is going to be a negative one because we'll have a plus 7, a minus 11, plus 10, minus 8, plus 5, minus 4. That is our root S2, S2, D1, S2, D3, S1, D3, S1, D2, and S1, S3, D2, and S3, D1. Uh, so we are going to proceed, proceed to another water square, which is S2, D2, and form another path, which is going to give us our, four, our third route. Then we'll after that we'll proceed to uh, S3 D3 which is our last water square. Then we'll check the improvement index for each. So this is going to be our 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 third root which is plus, plus fourth positive eleven minus eleven plus ten minus eight. We'll get a positive two. So our fourth root uh, will 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 be from uh S three S three D three uh to S three D D two to S one D two S one D three back to our original square and it will with that will give us an index of five a positive five. So I like to share a few things that help us uh, evaluate the, our improvement index. And uh, we are saying that a negative sign indicates a cost reduction can be made by making a change. A zero result indicates that there will be no change in cost. The positive sign indicates an increase in cost if a change is made. So we can't make a change if we get a positive, uh, a positive uh, sign in any of the the closed loop paths. Uh, if all signs are positive, it means that the optimal solution has been reached. If more than one square of negative signs, then the water square with the largest negative net cost change is selected for quicker solution. In case there is a tie, we can choose then randomly. Uh, to identify the lowest negative cost, first we we are uh, we love uh, our 25 because uh, the, the, our improvement indexes have a tie of a negative, two negative ones. So we'll choose the first one part that we did, which has a negative 25, which is the lowest negative allocation. Then we subtract it from all the negatives on the closed loop. That is. 25 and a uh, ante and 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 200 and add it to all the positive in the closed loop that is 0 and 25 and this is how we are going to do it so basically uh, in our closed loop we are going to subtract 25 from 
here and here and add 25 to this point which is as a zero it doesn't have any cost any the, the allocation and this one and to the 75 so this this is how our our table is going to look like so this is going to be our table uh we love a 25 here because it was a zero so we have added a 25 the, here we had uh 25 so we subtracted 25 from it because it ended a negative uh, as sign here we had a positive sign so a po which and we had 75 and allocation so we added 25 to the 75 and uh, here we had 200 so we we subtracted 25 to get 175 so we are going now to go again through the process of getting the improvement index so that we can determine if there will be a cost change or in uh, a neg uh, we're going to reduce cost or uh, we have attained the optimal solution um, i'm going to write down the parts the parts the we are we are going to obtain then I'll take us through it. Uh, this is how our paths will look like. Uh, we love the the first first path from S one D one to S one S one D two to S one D one to S three D one to S three D two, which will give us a positive one, and the rest of the parts are just as follows uh, you can follow slowly through the video and the most important thing is learning to identify a water square and forming the path back to the water square uh, using uh, the squares that has already, have already been used and also uh, making sure that you place alternate plus and minus sign from each corner starting with the square you have the water square that you have selected to start from and uh, from this we can uh, conclude that uh, we have attained the optimal solution because our improvement index is only give us a zero and positive answers uh, the first index is one zero three and four Zero means that there will be no cost change if we make a, ch a change. A positive means that we'll increase cost. And our goal is to make sure we have the minimal cost. And this is the optimal solution. And this is this I like to calculate the cost for, for transportation with the final uh, allocations. Then we can compare with the first answer we got in the previous video yeah thank you so uh this is will, will be our final answer which is four million five twenty five thousand uh from our previous uh, video uh we got uh a cost of four hundred and four million five hundred and fifty thousand uh so this will mean that by making the changes we have made a saving of 25000 and basically that's how we do optimality testing using the stepping stone method and uh, for the to just to understand why, how we got here please make sure you check the pre previous video whose link is in the descriptions uh, thank you and see you next time